The instruments that will be used in the project consist of three major pieces. The main highlights will be the rebana, gendang labik, and domba played by Shok, and they will be accompanied by a violin played by Zo, accordion played by Yazid, and fretless bass guitar played by Elisha. The rebana is a round-shaped single-frame drum, usually made with kayu nangka or jackfruit wood. It is used mostly in Southeast Asia. The rebana also uses goat skin for better sound quality. In Brunei's traditional music, the rebana is used to accompany the song which is played in Melayu rhythm, such as asli, joget, inang, and canggong. The rebana that will be used in the video has been retrofitted with modern drum accessories such as drum locks, drum rims, and fiber skin for easy access and tuning. The gendang labik is one of the traditional guling tangan instruments which is part of Brunei's traditions and customs. It is usually played by hand or a rattan stick. It is a round-shaped, two-faced drum usually made with goat skin or cow skin. The drum usually accompanies traditional songs in Brunei for silat or other guling tangan songs such as gabongkok, ayasan, and adai adai. Like the rebana, the dombak is also a round-shaped straight single-frame drum, usually made with coconut wood and cow skin. The drum is also a part of Brunei's traditional instrument, usually used in events such as mukun and diandangan. The accordion is a box-shaped musical instrument. It is played by compressing and or expanding the bellow while pressing buttons or keys. With the arrival of the accordion instrument in traditional Malay music, it quickly became an important instrument to the culture. It is usually seen accompanying traditional ensembles and used in traditional songs such as Bermukun, which is an answer and response poem reading accompanied by percussions and other instruments. Today, it is an irreplaceable asset in any contemporary guling tangan ensemble in Brunei Darussalam. Unlike the fretted bass guitar, the fretless bass has a number of notable characteristics. First is the obvious lack of frets. Frets on the modern electric bass is used to conform to tonal music, specifically Western music theory, most commonly applied to commercial music we hear on the radio. With the absence of frets comes with the absence of conformity, enabling the instrument to go beyond, performing harmonies, scales, arpeggios, and articulations that exists in between and beyond the notes found in Western music theory. This makes it an optimal instrument, especially when performing traditional music, which are commonly known to not follow Western harmony. The lack of frets also allows smoother sliding between notes. The nature of the instruments also allows the player to execute expressive back and forth vibratos, commonly used in traditional fretless instruments, such as the violin, viola, cello, and upright bass. Nowadays, the fretless bass can be found comfortably in a variety of genres such as metal, rock, pop, jazz, and of course, traditional music, just to name a few. In this performance, the fretless bass is not only used for its intended part, but also as a modern substitution taking the role of a gong which is found in a typical Malay traditional music setting. Although the violin is well known in the Western world, especially through classical music, it has also played a role in Malay traditional music. It was first believed to be brought and introduced by the Portuguese in the 15th century during their reign in Malacca. The Malays then started to incorporate it to their own music and a style known as Biola Asli was born and that is important in the Joget and Asli rhythm. Much like the fiddling style you may find in European folk songs like Celtic music, the Asli style relies on the player's ability to improvise on the melody, as well as adding ornamentation such as tasteful rubatos, trills, and turns. In Brunei Darussalam, much like the accordion, it plays a secondary role in helping to support a melody in a Kulingtangan orchestra, Bermukun, which is an answer and response poem reading accompanied by percussions and other instruments, and also Brunei Asli.